universe. I'm still ecstatic about last win, um, but I had another busy day, so only in the evening will be able to react to the draw. I actually I watched the draw and I thought about doing a live reaction, but then my internet connection, since the previous video was still uploading, was so bad that I said, nah, let's not do it that way. Um, I also you know, I made this nice Europa League background uh, and I'm gonna do now the closing video after that one with that. With, I will wear the pink last jersey because why not? Uh, it has the Europa League patch. Um, but I added another Europa League team that I have with my new, that's the Pauk jersey and I decided to put it here. I, I wonder whether I should put it somewhere here on the wall. But then I said, uh, maybe it's more proper opponent if I pull it here on the side. So yeah, uh, beautiful jersey very happy to have it and I'm working on one or two uh, as well but let's see where it goes let's look at the draw you get it here on the side of the screen we have 12 groups to talk about I'll walk through each one of them and a uh, few thoughts um, I have to say the first group Roma should be clear favorites here but it's deceiving you know young boys and especially Cluj Cluj is a team that I think should not be underestimated. CSK Sofia uh, did already a big one beating Basel, so Young Boys will be warned. However, Young Boys is a better team than Basel. That we don't need to talk about much about that. Group B, I was very happy to see Rapid get Arsenal. I was not happy to see them get Molde and Dundalk, uh, which Molde is not a bad team, for sure. Um, However, Rapid should be considered a favorite to finish second here. Uh, that's exactly what I did not necessarily want to see. Um, but, you know, good for Austria. I will uh, confine my hatred now to offer Rapid now to the Bundesliga in Europe. You are allowed to make uh, goals. And, yeah, uh, someone has been asking me, shouldn't I get some Austrian shirts and so far I've only lost shirts and I really don't feel like it but maybe I need to add some Austrian shirts as well. Group C are uh, very interesting. I think Leverkusen should be considered favorites here but I think it's a relatively even group because Slavia, don't unless them Slavia, I don't know much about Hapoel Persheva but they, that they are over Nice in the pots tells me that they, sh they at least did something in the past that was quite good. Another really interesting and even group is Benfica, Standard, Rangers and Lech. Um, I don't know why. Standard has been performing pretty good in the Europa League uh, in the last two seasons. Always kind of, you know, always there to go further uh, than they actually did, but not quite making it. Uh, Benfica favorites, but I think Rangers and Standard have a chance. Um, Group E also, um, yeah, PSV, underrated, I would say, because I like the coach Roger Schmidt now. I know him from his Salzburg time. He did not do well at Leverkusen, but I think he can start a revolution as PSV. Granada um, and Pauk, that's pretty, I don't know, Granada, I hope they don't do an Espanol from last season because I think I like them in the uh, up, uh, playing in, the, in in La Liga, but it could be a little bit too much. But it's interesting if you play Vega Granada and then you have the Greek Cypriot duel in there there as well. So uh, it's also a rather even group. I would, I mean. La Liga, you should give the edge pro pro, pro to uh, Granada, but I think PSV and then Park and Granada for second spot. A complete group of death in there is Napoli, Real Sociedad, AZ and the Rieke. Although now Napoli and Real Sociedad might separate themselves in there, but AZ not that bad. And you know, Rieke, Kroets, Kroets can always pull something off. Uh, group G was a group that I actually initially thought this might be an interesting one. Because uh, I think Braga is very beatable uh, and with Leicester you get a British team. So I, I thought, yeah, Braga, Leicester, Lask, that would sound good. Ike got in that group, uh, can also pull something. But then you get Zoria Luhansk and I don't know much about them, but you know, Ukrainian teams, never all that pleasant. Milan got hammered, I think, as the second group of that. I actually have a feeling that at least Celtic and Lille work together with Milan or in a Champions League group and it might be in Sparta Prague is also a team that 
I remember more from Champions League than Europa League. This is a really, really, really tough group for Milan. I'm not even sure if they will make it out of it because I think their focus should be on the um, Serie A. So I'm not sure how well they will perform there. Uh, yes, they should be considered favorites given their squad, but let's see how this is going. Lille, not easy. Celtic, not easy. Sparta Praha, don't know too little about them currently they're not the top of class in the Czech league so maybe they might be the outside but that's a really tough group for uh, Milan. Um, Villarreal, Karabak, Maccabi, Tel Aviv and Sivospor is probably the most underwhelming group. I think if Lask was in that group I would like the chances but I would not like the opponents uh, a lot uh, instead of Maccabi to Tel Aviv of course but that uh, Villarreal should walk through that group. There's no other way to say it. So now we get to the last group. Spurs, Rasgrad and Royal Antwerp. I was actually quite happy to see Spurs in there because A, I think it's a big um, name. B, this means now I really have to watch All or Nothing. I mean, I watched the first three episodes, but I really will want to watch the whole thing. I need to get a little bit more into Spurs. I mean, I know Spurs. Uh, we know all the big stars, but you know, now I have more motivation to watch it. Ludogorets is interesting because my wife is from Bulgaria. Of course, she's not a Bul uh, Ludogorets supporter. I think if she supports the team, it is Levski. So uh, Ludogorets is not a well-liked team in uh, Bulgaria. But yeah, uh, interesting to have that connection there. And Royal Antwerp, I think, is also beatable. I think Lask really has a chance here to make a second spot. Uh, will not be easy. I think it's a tougher group than we had last season. Uh, season we had PSV, Sporting and Rosenborg. Um, PSV and uh, Sporting, I think, uh, the, you know, the top two, they were even, but, you know, Spurs is so far uh, out of reach, I would say, that it will be a dogfight between the other three. Royal Antwerp is interesting for the simple reason that when Salzburg made it to the UEFA Cup final in 94, in 93, they had to beat Dunais Castreda, Royal Antwerp and Sporting. And we already beat the first and the third, so we can repeat the Salzburg feat of getting rid of those three. I find the parallels quite interesting. Then they beat Eintracht Frankfurt, which is not in there. Then they beat Karlsruhe, which is not even close to European contention anymore. And then they lost to Inter, which still might be possible. So yeah, let's see about that. Uh, group K, Wolfsburg is not really happy. I mean, they're happy about Feyenoord uh, because that's a big name team. But in Austria, you're always not happy if you get Eastern teams and especially strong Eastern teams because they are not attractive for spectators uh, and the press. And honestly, it's a little bit unfair because CSK is a big team and Dinamo Zagreb especially is a big team uh, that deserves a lot of re re respect. But in Austria, it's just the way it is. Um, Overall, very even, very tough group. I think Wolfsburg will have a hard time there, but I fancy them against Feyenoord. And then the last one, this was also a group that last could have gotten. Um, yeah, or where I thought I, I didn't want to have Germanus Vesta uh, because that's a very unpleasant opponent to play against. Ghent, I would have liked. Um, and Liberets, yeah, I would have liked, enjoyed the two. Uh, yeah, Hoffenheim is in there. I think Hoffenheim will like the chances at the moment to move on. So those are my thoughts on the Europa League draw. I'm overall uh, satisfied with the group that Lask got. I'm not satisfied with Walter Rapid and Wolfsburg got in a way because I'm thinking Austria. Now, if I look at my team, Milan got hammered. Not happy about that. And Pauk is another team that I, I like is also kind of so-and-so, uh, Roma, good, Napoli also, yeah. To be honest, I'm gonna look forward to the Europa League. I actually like the Europa League the more than most people do. So yeah, let me know what you thought about the Europa League draw. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos like this, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon to get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!